Okay, I'm back in game. It's been a couple of days since I played the game, but not as a result of the usual kind of crap that I do <laughs> when it comes to playing these. I just sort of, well, the USB cable to my microphone broke. And it actually broke at the end of the previous episode. It was, uh, that's why the episode ended kind of abruptly. I didn't sign off or anything. It just ended because the microphone broke, stopped working. Now here I am back playing the game again, and it's because I picked up a new, new USB cable. It took me a few days because, well, it's strangely enough, it's surprisingly difficult to find a 6 foot USB A to USB Mini B cable. Usually these cables end up being, uh, that are that long, either cell phone chargers, meaning micros, micro USB micro cables. Or, uh, I saw a bunch of USB-Cs. That would be nice if my thing supported it. Ah, oh, shit. Run, girl, run! Ah! Don't fight it. A waste of time. A waste of ammo. There we go. I think we're safe up here. But anyway, I eventually found my cable that I need. It took a few days. Now, during that time, I realized a couple of mistakes that I had made. One of them was, well, I unfortunately just recorded everything wrong. See, I wanted to make a trailer after I, re like I oftentimes do. I'd make a trailer of the game after I recorded enough game footage. Now, for this game meant that I wanted to get pretty much the entirety of Claire's campaign in the bag before I started making my trailer. Unfortunately, I discovered that, uh, well, US, uh, USB, <laughs> Adobe Premiere, the version I have at least, doesn't do so well with variable frame rate and variable um, bit rate footage. It gets all fucked up. So I switched Bandicam over to a constant frame rate and a constant bit rate which increases file size, sure, but I have plenty enough space, it'd be fine. Unfortunately, I fucked up, and I unfortunately went and set it to a, at 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, 4 megabits per second. 4. Which is maybe less than half of what I actually would have done if I was trying to save space. So, that's why a lot of the footage, or all of the footage before this episode, looks like such shit. Because, well, it was shit. There's some gunpowder out there. I'm not interested in getting it. Oh, shit. Okay, I fucked that up pretty bad. Close. Hopefully that locks. So I had to come back here and I had to decide what I was going to do. Was I going to reshoot the footage? No, I decided not to do that. I'm actually okay with the standard gameplay being at low resolution. Uh, I'm okay with the game itself being low res. The, the episodes that I play. Because I was going to end up compressing it anyway, not ideal by any means. Not ideal at all. But, well, you win some, you lose some, and I really didn't feel like playing the entire game over again. At least up until this point. Because I honestly, I've restarted this game several times. It's getting a little uh, repetitive doing this over and over again. So I decide, okay, I'll live with the low-quality footage for those episodes. But I want to go and reshoot some of the cutscenes and all that for the sake of the trailer. So I'm going to go back and do that. And what that did do was open up the opportunity to change some of the stuff I'm doing. So I stumbled over the Nexus mods and found some mods to install into the game. And one of them I found that I kind of like for some reason, even though it kind of looks like shit is this ridiculous hair mod that Claire has. It's 
way too long. It's uh, just a ridiculous mop of hair. It covers her face all the time. But for some reason, I don't know, I kind of like the look of it. So, I'm going to keep it. I can, if I really want to, I can uh, open the passageway back up to the police station. Now I have access to the police station to pick up anything that I might have forgotten. Well, anyway, Claire's got this crazy hair now. It's physics-based. It's hair taken off of one of the zombie models. And it's clearly not hero quality. It's not hero quality by any means. But it does look good enough. It's physics... Uh, physics-based movement. So it's kind of wacky. But, you know, it looks pretty cool, I think. Did she take a hit? I don't know. I restarted the episode, so I'm not sure. If she, she's kind of messed up, so... Oh, yeah, she definitely took a hit. Came back here for something. I'll make sure I use it. Uh, let's see. Map. Nothing here. What's up there? There's something in the library, too. Should I really bother? I don't think I should. I don't want to risk taking damage for no fucking reason. Oh, nope, that's bad news. Don't want to get in the fights for no good reason. So, I will go back after I finish recording this game. And I will re-record the footage of the... Re-record the footage of the cutscenes and certain gameplay pieces so I can have higher quality video. I'm recording at 1500, uh, 15 megabits per second. And that should be high enough quality. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to go back down here. The only reason why I came up to the police station was to get the police badge back. Now if I can take it back down here and get myself a nice little add-on. Here we are. And... We used this back at the star's office. And then, um, it's a good idea to take it with you. So you could reuse it here. And what do we get? A gen- oh, okay, suppressor. Boom, look at that shit. Yeah, badass. Okay, go back. I know I forgot a few things in the, um... Forgot a few things back in the police station, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Idiot. <laughs> I'm supposed to go down. There might be a zombie waiting. Oh, wait, no, that zombie got, uh... She poisoned? No, no, she's all right. That zombie got blown up, didn't he? And I don't think that key's even useful. Oh no, the key still is. Go slow. Go quiet. I might not attract the attention of these zombies if I go slow enough. There's some gunpowder over on the other side of that bridge, but fuck it. It's not worth getting attacked multiple times just to get it. Hmm, see something, something good went on here, huh? Oh, this is always a good sign, right? How did so much trash get down here? They're like literal trash bags. Oh, shit. There we go. That knife was about to break anyway. Uh, 
As long as it's nowhere near me, I think I'm good. Is that a turd floating against the stream? Oh shit. Eh, fuck it. Moving on. What the hell was that? Oh, there are other uh, G monsters down here. Okay, this was just a pathway back. Okay, we're good. We are good to go. <laughs> Safe up here. So if I go back and I re-record all of that early footage with the higher bitrate, it'll also remain consistent with this hair mod installed. I know it's unnecessary, but it's something I feel like doing. special. Okay, I got a puzzle here. I think the, uh, what, what piece is this? Bishop. And then, uh, Okay, that was in the wrong place. I think I'm. I think I'm doing this wrong. Okay, I definitely this did is strong. Not my forte. Rook and knight are in the same wall. Okay, the knight's got to be there. Rook and Knight are in the same wall. This is the Rook. So the Rook goes either there or there. Aren't next to each other. Queen and the Rook are opposite of each other. But the Bishop and the Queen aren't next to each other. So the Bishop... The Bishop has to be here. Bishop and the Queen are not next to each other. Oh, what did it say? Shouldn't we aren't next to each other. Queen and Rook are opposite of each other. So. Pawn's got to be there, right? Pretty sure Rook and Knight are on the same wall. Bishop and Queen. Okay, so. Bishop, Bishop and the Queen aren't next to each other. So. Damn it. <laughs> okay. The bishop. And now the... 
Okay, uh, I'm going to read this a thousand times. Queen and rook are opposite each other, so the rook's there. So the queen has to be there. The pawn's definitely where the pawn says it is. And then the king. And there we go. You can be feel stupid, why don't you? Alright, Sherry. On my way. Alright, I'm going down there, but in the next episode, though. So thanks for watching. Gotta prepare.